Today we are going to continue with the second hand of InMove Humanoid Robot that you can 3D print yourself. Coming up on Zachary's 3D Prints Weekend Project. Hello, this is Zachary from Zachary 3D Prints, bringing you how to review news and other cool things you can do with 3D printing. If you're new to this channel and not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I will put every social media link I have in the description of this video. You can, if you want, also support this channel as well. I will put the Patreon link in the description of this video. So. For the ones that are new to this channel, welcome, this is Sakuri and I'm going to continue with the weekend project. If you by chance miss any of the other videos, check in the recommended video. If it is correct, one of my videos of the Inmove Humanoid Robot build is in there, but I'm also not the only one building this very nice humanoid robot. There are also other users or other YouTubers that are building the same 3D printed humanoid in move robot. So, as part of the channel, I do want to release every once a month on the Friday of the month. I want to release a video, but sometimes I notice it's not almost not possible to do that. Also, now, also with the coronavirus and all shipments are delayed, I was waiting for this fishing line two months. Really, two months, it's way long, but I found out when I got it, it was too thin. Well, the story of the fishing line. Well, I can tell a long story, like a fairy tale long, but I can also keep it short. This is not the right one. This is also not the right one. And this is also not the right one. Well, what happened? <laughs> I ordered this fishing line, it was 0.3 millimeters, and I thought this would be okay. I found out, even though it's quite strong, it's Braden fishing line, I have a very hard time to snap it off with my hand, and also very, very strong, so it will do the job, but for the purpose on the Inmove humanoid robot hand, it's not right. In the meantime, because I saw that that one was way too thin, I bought nylon etalage wire. I don't know what's the right English word, but this is a 0.5, so it's way more thicker, but also stronger. Gael Langvin on the inmove.fr website. I will put the link in the description of this video. There you can find everything about the InMove Humanoid build. Also got my information from that site. So if you want to read back or you want to continue with the build of the InMove Humanoid robot, then you can also see it there. So when I bought this line, uh, this one I could easily get for five euros. And because the shop is just around the corner, it's much thicker than the orange one. But I thought, let's continue and find on AliExpress braiding fishing line 0 0.8, 200 LBS. Well, it's 500 meters, so very long, but it's 0 0.8 and 0 0.14 millimeters. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. It's so shiny, it's very thin. It's 0 0.14 millimeters. So even thinner than this one. So here on the orange one, I feel the structure of the braid and fishing line. And here it's just nylon. With one hand, I wired all servo motors up, but because of some programming that I still need to do, I cannot test everything the right way. And also I'm not an expert in servo motors and using these kind of electronics i really have to read everything in and study it and then work on it but believe me i try to use it and it works but i have to 
adjust the motors that they are on the zero position. Let's stop the chit chat and let's start with the second hand. It's only used once by myself. No, I'm not going to say that. So now we are going to continue with the left hand of the Emove Humanoid Robot hand. Well, it's not that difficult. It's cool, it's awesome. All wires are tangled up, nothing too bad. So like you can see, I have all the wires, all the nylon wires on the side. And it's time to hook everything up. Before we are going to start with it, make sure that every servo motor is in the zero position. Also follow the instructions on the side of inmove.fr how to build the hands, I believe that was. The thing is, because if you are going to follow this closely, you will going to notice that there needs some tensioners between the servo motors and the wires. If you see this one here, it doesn't have that because, yeah, why? I don't know. I don't know why I didn't do that. Uh, firstly, it is very difficult to get all right springs. And secondly, um, a lot of people in the community building the Inmove robot are also not using the tensioners. Maybe I'm also going to use other servers or different other ways to control the hand. But this is how to learn to make a 3D printed robot. And that's also cool to show other people, like mentioned. So, I've got all nylon wires here. Oh. Make sure, because I noticed when I did it, that some of the wires were going through the other end and then there was no tension anymore. And what happened, the line was away. So I could redo everything. If that happens, no problem, can happen. It's not the end of the world as we know it. Definitely sure about that as the world turns. So what I like to do to keep my work as organized as possible, as freaky as I am sometimes. Okay, put a dove steel clip on the end so that all dino wires are there. So, I'm going to move the camera to here and then show you everything what I did. So, when you look here, I have all wires. There is a knot in it, but I didn't do anything with it. So, I'm going to make a knot in it. So, binding the two wires together, even though when they have an not in it so just make sure that the cable is not running out of the two holes Now we do the second one. When you have braided and fishing line, of course it will be much easier to make their knots in it. This one isn't that easy because it is more stiff because this different kind of wire. But as long as it works, it works. So now 
all wires are now not knotted together. When the tension is on it, you can be better pull on it to get it even better. So, how to wire each line to the right servo motor? Well, let's start with the thumb. The most left to And 